Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kwadash, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you walking out there who pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And as well as to all you believers out there who believe in the gospel. And it's the brother Kwabra Abad from the GMS Houston camp. And uh, real briefly, I want to go into uh, another lesson. You know, I'm at the job right now, so you know, I got to be fairly quick. But Lord willing to be edifying. But I was listening to a couple lessons, you know, from the apostles, the elders. You know, watching a couple videos, you know, with these uh, economists going into, uh, you know, these bank runs. You know, in a couple of videos hitting on the CBDC. And um, it kind of sparked my spirit to want to go into this lesson. And I'll probably title it something along the lines of, you know, the scripture. How the scriptures say money is a defense, which we'll get that in a few. You know, which, which money is a defense. You know, if you're in a situation, it can help you out. You know, um, if you're in a bind, you know, it can help you out. You know, but nevertheless, as we know that the money system, the financial system, as we know it today, you know, with the little paper dollars and the coins, all this is about to change. You know, everything is about to go digital. And that's the, uh, the prophecy of the uh, mark of the bee, the beast which we know it as being that digital grain of rice, that RFID C hip. And we got to speak in code, you know, for YouTube um, community guidelines. But nevertheless, the point is, is that money is a defense. Right? Money is a defense. And our people, especially Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans here in America, they have been caught up on money. Money have, has become a guide in this modern age. In order to get a woman, you, you got to have money, <laughs> right? In order to have a status, you got to have money. You know, famous celebrity people covered after these things. And they waste their time seeking after tangible money that's temporal instead of seeking after the Lord. But again, the whole point is, is that money is a defense until the MOTB be implemented. Money is a defense until the MOTB be implemented, man. Yes, money can help you out now. You know, yeah, you can stunt with it now. You can buy the new cars, clothes, and the hose with it now. But what that money going to do for you? What the, you know, how Jake be on Instagram holding a stack of money up to his ear like a phone. What that's, what that's going to do for you when it no longer has a value? Which really it don't, you know, don't even have a value now. It's just your belief in it, that it work, that it's real. But once again, once all is said and done and that dollar fell, and the only way for you to survive and get by in this society is whether you get that MOTB under your skin. And then once you get that, you go be tracked and everything you do go be tracked and controlled. Money ain't going to be a defense in that day. When that MOTB be implemented. So the, the main defense right now we should be focusing on is serving the Lord. That's the only thing of uh, true riches that can save us out of this um these evils that's coming. But let's get into it. I don't want to be uh too long. Let's uh start with this. Money is a defense scripture. It's Ecclesiastes 7. And I'm gonna start at 11. It says, Wisdom is good with an inheritance. And by it, there is profit to them that see the sun. So, right, if you have an inheritance, you have money stored up, that's a good thing. It may be an emergency. Hey, you can go up in there, you you know, get you some out. Somebody may need help, a brother. You can go up in there and get it out. All right. You want to go out and have a good time, you have some stored up. And it says, verse 12, for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. You see? So wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. So yes, money can help you. Let's read the NLT. It says, wisdom and money can get you almost anything. 
but only wisdom can save your life. And that's what we're talking about. Yeah, you can get your little tangible things here in this world with money. But what that money going to do for you when Jacob's trouble uh, and all hell break all hell break loose doing Jacob's trouble? What that money going to do for you then? Again, when the MOT, MOTB be implemented and there's a digital system, your $5 bill, $20 bill, $100 bill ain't going to be accepted. So wherein is going to be the, the stunting that people doing now, what profit is going to have in that day? The money phones, you know, the Balenciagas and the and the and the, the new Rick Owen shoes. What will that matter in that day? Hey, just like Peter told Simon the Sorcerer. Remember Simon the Sorcerer? He uh, tried to pay for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> he tried to give Peter enough money to get some of the Holy Spirit. And what Peter told him, he said, look, put that money up. Your money going to perish with you. All this that, that these people have been wasting their time storing up, especially Israelites. Like the scripture says in 2nd Edges 9, who have in their life received benefits and have not known the Lord. Right? You wasted your time chasing a dollar. And at the end, when you go need the Lord, that dollar you've been chasing ain't going to matter. Now you miss your opportunity to, to get uh, back in one with your power, man. So again, it says wisdom and money can get you almost anything, but only wisdom can save your life. Because this truth that we have received, this go allow us to endure the times we're coming in. Let's get Revelation 13 real quick. Remember, Yahweh Shai said he going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Having that wisdom is not having a full 1K stored up. That's not <laughs> what full 1K in that day, man. Let's get this Revelation 13 because this is what it's coming to. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls of all and that he is a so-called white man by way of his system. You know, having these different countries um, be on the same accord, changing their um, uh, financial structure to fit uh, a digital currency that all nations will be on the same uh, accord, man. All one currency and it's digital. But this time, it ain't just digital as far as a uh you, you got Apple Pay on your phone, you know. It ain't just digital as far as you putting a, a debit or a credit card in. You know? No, it's digital this time where you go be a part of the system. You gotta put the technology in you to become a part of this system. That's the fourth industrial revolution. Just like Cla Claude Schwab said. Right, it ain't just changing the the uh, infrastructure. No, it's changing us too. Well, not us, but you know, those who get that MOTB is gonna change you. So again, where's your money that these people in this in the society, mainly America, worry about getting? What profit is it gonna have in this day when this prophecy is fulfilled? Revelation thirteen and sixteen, and he calls of all, both small and great. Right. The, the the celebrities, the people with status and the, the unknown people. You're going to be called. It says both small and great, rich and poor. You see, no matter what class you consider yourself, rich class, poor, middle, whatever, you're going to be called to get this MOTB. It says free and bond, whether you out of jail or you locked up. This could be the new way of buying and selling and getting by um, um, in this new world, man, that Esau trying to build. So just like these people with the run on the banks, they go and stand in line trying to get their money out. But for what? <laughs> for what? Say if you do get your money out. Yeah, of course, you, you, know, you can get by for a little bit, but still. When this actually come to pass, even the money you got out won't work in that day. You can get out a hundred thousand dollars, and and when the when this system change, you go to the store. No matter if it's all blue faces, the hundreds blue faces, they still ain't gonna take it. Your money that you gonna have gonna be used better to burn it on a cold night to keep you warm. You see, it says he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand, a karagma, 
in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you ain't gonna better buy or sell or get by unless you got this MOTB in you. Not a debit card. It ain't no. It ain't Karagma. Not a debit card, not a phone. You know, a wallet, you ain't gonna need the wallet no more. It's gonna have to be in you. So again, these celebrities, yeah, they work their way to a status, but in order for you to continue this, no matter how great you are in this world, in order for you to continue your riches, continue living a lavish life, as what you think it is, guess what you got to bow down and do? Get this device in you. If not, it ain't going to be that same life you once had. So see how the law about to catch all these people up? You know, those who so caught up in money, once the system fall, they going to be caught up in the fall, man. That's why hey, we was told to separate ourselves now. Let's get this real quick. Um, what that is? Um, riches. Profit not. This is Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11 and 4. It says, riches profit not in the day of wrath. So when the heavenly father bring destruction, you can't pay him off, you know, pay your how was shot tip, you know, <laughs> and let me slide this time. Lord, you can't pay him off. The Lord ain't go. He don't accept money. Again, going back to Simon the sorcerer, he tried to pay for the Holy Spirit. And Peter told him, look, your money going to die with you. How much more of these people who ain't trying to get the Holy Spirit? Who are just trying to continue in their wickedness to keep their riches? You ain't going to better pay a, a, a deaf angel off when he come with the judgment of the Lord on his mind, man. A slide him a five. I'm a, I'm a cash app. You know, ain't, <laughs> ain't no cash app. They got the new Fed Now app coming out. That's going to be the new app. That's going to be tied to your, your, uh, your, your currency. Right, uh, what's what is called um, uh, uh, social credit score, so on and so forth. All those things gonna be tied in one. So when the Lord bring his wrath, it says, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death." Having that wisdom, that's what's gonna deliver us. One, cause you know we tending to the Lord right now, so hoping our sins are being forgiven. You know, repentance, so on and so forth. I'm reading the NLT. It says, riches won't help on the day of judgment, but right living can save you from death, man. You know, so no, no matter how much money you got, celebrities going to be put to death by the Lord. The people we think rich and they're going to be put to death by the Lord, man. That money ain't going to matter when times really get hard. I mean, matter of fact, what it is in Genesis when they came to Joseph. Hold on, let me see. When there was that famine in the land. And I'm going to read this real quick. It was a famine in the land. And the people kept coming to Joseph. And they was willing to give everything up. First they gave their, I think, they, they, they money. But when that money ran out and didn't matter, what? What was left? They had to give up everything. The last thing was themselves. That's like unto now. It's going to come a point in time when money ain't going, to be ma ain't going to matter. And in order for you to survive, it ain't going to be money. It's going to have to be yourself. And that's about putting your hand out on that table and getting that MOTB in you. Now, we saying not to get it, of course. But in order for you to have that faith and why not to get it, you got to have the Lord. You know, in your mind that the Lord will take care of me then if I don't get it. But uh, let's let's read this real quick and uh. I'm going to get one more. Ezekiel, how I said they go cast their they silver, gold, their riches in the streets in that day. Again, why? Because it ain't going to matter. Why you think of all these apocalyptic movies, you see money in the streets. You see people burning money in wheelbarrows to catch heat. Because it's void in that day. Even if you go to the store, it ain't going to, again, they ain't going to take it. Even today, some stores already today telling you, sir, we only take cash. I mean, uh, we only take a uh, car. Eventually, look, sir, we'll take cash or car. We'll, you got you got your chip? Come on. But uh, let's read this real quick. 
This is uh, Genesis 47 and 13. And there was no bread in all the land, for the famine was very sore. And the famine coming too, plus more in these times. It says, so that the land of Egypt and all the land of Canaan fainted by reason of the famine. And Joseph gathered up all the money that was found in the land of Egypt. <laughs> as like Esau today. He gathered up the money, doing away with coins. Right. People can't can't get their money out the banks. He doing away with the dollar. You know, this actually happened back then. And Joseph ultimately did it to uh, preserve, you know, our people. But I'm spiritually liking it to how Esau want to do it on the left hand side today. He first so first he gathered up all the money. It says, and when money failed in the land of Egypt, so when that dollar, right, ain't got no value, them quarters and dimes in your glove compartment in a car ain't got value. It says, and when money failed in the land of Canaan, in the land of Egypt, and in the land of Canaan, all the Egyptians came unto Joseph and said, Give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence? For the money faileth. So when the money fell, what these people did, they went to the government and they asked for food, begging. Well, hold, hold on. A few weeks ago, you were just stunt with the money. They had money phones all on Instagram, right? Calling niggas broke. <laughs> you see? Balling. But when times get hard, famines kick in, destruction come, that money ain't gonna matter. Again, spiritually Liking it into this story And money ain't gonna matter Then they gonna go begging for the government to help them And the way the government gonna help you today They gonna say well Stick your hand out And put this device in you And then you good Oh are you gonna trust in the Lord So it says And when money fell in the land of Egypt And in the land of Canaan The Egyptians came unto Joseph and said Give us bread For why should we die in thy presence For thy money for the money felleth. And Joseph said, give your cattle and I will give you for your cattle if money fell. Well, look, if the money fell, give all your other resources then. And it says, and they brought their cattle unto Joseph. And Joseph gave them bread in exchange for horses. And for the flocks and for the cattle and for the herds and for the asses. And he fed them with all the bread, with bread for all their cattle for that year. So they were sustained by the government. That's like a stimulus check. He <laughs> <laughs> That's like a stimulus check To keep them, keep them cool for a little bit But it says And when that year was ended They came unto him the second year Now they depending on him Just like these people go depend on Esau When it get real It says And said we will not hide it from my Lord How that our money is spent We don't have no more Even if we did it wouldn't matter it says, my Lord also have our herds of cattle. And we don't have no more resources. You took them. Hey, what the what the World Economic Forum says, own nothing and be happy. All right. Same thing, man. It says, there is not aught left in the sight of my Lord, but our bodies and our lands. We don't have nothing left, Joseph. The money gone. Right. Our cattle gone. We just got shit. Really, our house, our land, and, and us. Well, let's see what they do. It says, um, Wherefore shall we die before thine eyes, both we and our land, by us and our land for bread? So they offered themselves as slaves. Today, what's the modern way of you going to offer yourself? You getting in the line to receive that MOTB. So again, Money is a defense until the MOTB be implemented. Then what you gonna do with that money? You gonna you gonna you know transfer it to the C hip or what? So they giving themselves as slaves and in, in ancient in modern terms they would have took the took the, the C hip to get by. It says, buy us and our land for bread, and we and our land will be servants unto Pharaoh. Slaves, and that's ultimately what Esau want to do. You know, enter you into a blood covenant because when you get that sea help, poke it into you, blood come out. Right? Uh, I heard the elder brother require Quam going to that. But nevertheless, now Esau becoming your God and you a servant to him. And it says, And give us seed that we may live and not die in the land. And Joseph brought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. 
And the Egyptians sold every man his field because the famine prevailed over them so that the land became Pharaoh's. And as for the people, he removed them to cities. Hey, <laughs> 15 minute cities. <laughs> Concentration camps. Modernly speaking, you know, back then he actually moved them, you know, into the, you know, out the vicinity of um, uh, Egypt. Right. But modern terms, after you offer yourself, become a slave. Now you will go into that 15 minute city. Right. That concentration camp and get health care and 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 food. It says, as for the people, he removed them to the cities from one end of the borders of Egypt, even to the other. man. So they became slaves. And again, spiritually speaking, in these times, they was willing to get the MOTB after the money failed. After the money failed, man. Let's get Ezekiel nine and I end it. Real quick, this is Ezekiel 9 and verse, not 9, Ezekiel 7, Salaki. This is Ezekiel 7 and 3, it says, Now is the end come upon thee. I will send my anger upon thee and will judge thee according to thy ways and will recompense thee of all, Salaki, of all thine abominations. It says, Verse five, thus save your high power and evil and only evil. Behold, is come and in is come. The end is come and watch it for thee. Behold. It says, behold, it is come. So we clearly at the end and seeing we at the end, it says. Verse 17, and all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. When reality kick in, they shall also gird themselves with sackcloths sackcloth and horror shall cover them shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon their heads why because they're gonna realize damn these men was telling the truth the whole time man i didn't repent <laughs> and what's gonna happen it says and then they shall cast their silver in the streets money and their gold shall be removed money their silver and gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It's going to be in the street. They ain't going to care about it. Why? Because it's going to have no value. The true value is, is this truth, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said, look, store up treasures in heaven, spiritual things, where moth and rust can't corrupt, where thieves can't break through and steal. Esau can't tell us we can't use this spiritual money. The spiritual money ain't in the, the guidelines of no man can buy or sell, save he got the karagma. That ain't for this money we got. The money we got surpasses this earthly guideline, man. These earthly guidelines. The money we got ain't got to be digital. On Come on, man. It's heavenly. That's the true riches of the Lord. That's what's going to get us by in these times. You know? You know, spiritually uh, depositing in right now so we can have something to withdraw from in the time to come. As much as you deposit carnal money in, that don't mean you're going to have uh, anything to withdraw from in the time to come for the Lord to come help you out. But it says, riches profit. No, it's not that scripture. It says, um, right there, silver and gold shall not be able to deliver them in a day of wrath, in a day of the wrath of Yahweh. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fear their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity, man. And what the scriptures say, there is no remembrance of, um, oh, this is Sirach. There's no remembrance of um, Salaki. Bear with me. All right, here we go. So this uh, Sirach 11 and 20. Let's start at 23 and I end it. So Rocky 11 and 23, it says, Say not, what profit is there of my service and what good things shall I have hereafter? Again, say not, I have enough. Like niggas in this world, you know, they living their best life. You know, they think they made it. They broke the generational curse and storing up generational wealth. Where well, it says, and say not, I have enough. And possess many things. And what evil shall I have hereafter? They think they're good. In security. 
But what the Lord said in, in their security shall they be destroyed. It says in a day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. So when you live in it, you forget about hard times. You forget about reality. And it says in a, in a day of affliction, there is no remembrance of prosperity. So when reality kicked in, kick in, <laughs> all this, you know, stunting and, you know, money phones and, you know, balling out of control that Jake think they doing, they going to forget about that, man. They ain't going to think about that no more. Why? Because cause judgment going to be in their face. They going to be dead in the middle of Jacob's trouble. You see, it says in the day of prosperity, there's forgetfulness. Forgetfulness of affliction And in the day of affliction There is no prosperity Of remembrance man So when times get real Man look None of that What they doing right now Go matter in that day You see But I'm gonna end it right there Lord willing This lesson was out of fun I wanna give all praise And glory unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Chakwadash Double honors Unto the apostles And elders of great millstone And peace and blessings To all you I came out there Pushing this word As well as to y'all believers Keep fighting Keep pushing With that Shalom